guys what is up and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here i'm jesse what is up so i'm doing my first makeup review so you guys have been asking me to do like a makeup tutorial or ma something makeup related but i have so much anxiety when it comes to doing like makeup tutorials i still really need to like build up the courage to do that so I decided let's just do a makeup review and a company called Wake and Bake Cosmetics has reached out to me. They are recently launching their first brand which is this eyeshadow palette right here. So they have asked me to review their product on my channel. I was going to include the tutorial but ugh, chills. <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't but I did create a look with this eyeshadow palette, a very pink, cute little sultry look that just, you know, looks like this. So this is the Wake and Bake um, Cosmetics First Eyeshadow Palette. Um, they are a South African cruelty-free brand. So that's also a major plus. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's just get into the videos. So the palette itself, as you guys can see on the outside, has a lot of like, you know, patterns and color, which personally I do not prefer because I'm a very like neutral girl. I like my neutral, aesthetically pleasing things. And personally, this is extremely vibrant. I don't see luxury in the sticker, which really upsets me because with makeup, I'm always just like, oh, if it looks luxurious, I really want to buy this. I really want to use this. And for me, that's a huge problem. Um, as well as the patterns, like, like I told you guys, I am an aesthetic queen. I like plain things. And this is just really out there. You know but what i will say that i do like about this is this clippy thing if you guys know what this thing is called please can you comment it, com uh, please can you comment it down below because i literally do not know what it's called so this clippy thing i love two bits because most eyeshadow palettes have that weird thing you have to put your finger in and try and lift it which i struggle to do because i have really short nails so this clippy thing has just saved my life completely so opening up the eyeshadow palette you guys can see that it is extremely colorful and it smells so good. It's like, it smells like soap. I don't know. Like, it just smells really nice. So whatever they put in here, it smells amazing. And that's another thing that I look for. If makeup smells good, I am a-okay to go. The product is mine. I love good smelling stuff. So that's amazing. And this plastic that holds the pans is not super duper cheap. It's like... You know, relatively good. I feel like most eyeshadow companies or most makeup companies do use this when they do make their products. So that's pretty cool. And going into the actual product. So I always determine the quality of a product by its black shade and its white shade. If a product's black shade is blacker than black, like the darkest black that you can ever get, you guys best believe I'm buying that palette because that's how you can determine it. That's how you know that a product is good, it's creamy, it's not chalky, it's great. But the problem that I have here with this black and white is they're both extremely chalky. But I will say these shades, although they're chalky, they do blend very well. They kind of go well together, you know? It's very buildable. It's one of those things like it doesn't come off like patchy. Because I've like worked with other eyeshadow palettes and it comes off really patchy or they don't blend well. Like one of the problems that I have with like some of my Morphe palettes is that when I try and blend it's just like no honey no like certain shades don't blend maybe it's my fault maybe it's my hand but I personally feel as though this palette does not like have that issue um another thing about this is that some of the shades are the same like looking at the these two like lime colors they are the exact same look at that they're the exact same and I also cannot differentiate between these really hot pinky colors. I just, I can't. To me, they all look the same. I cannot tell the difference. I've tried swatching them. It's just, to me, they're just all the same. So personally, if I was, you know, putting this palette together, I would have put all of my red shades together in order of dark to light, and then my oranges and so forth and so forth. So that's just a personal preference because I struggle to differentiate between certain things like when I see these blues to me They all look the same. So if they were perhaps together, I could actually see the difference um, Another thing that really upsets me is that they repeated so many colors like this is um, 80 shades and this goes for about 300 Rand I personally feel like they could have maybe made I don't know 70 shades um, excluding certain ones because They just look the same like this one, this one, this one, and that one. 
No, not that one. It's just these three. They are the exact same. And I feel like that was just so unnecessary. Like they didn't need to repeat repeat shades, but they did anyhow. Um, but yeah, the mattes are amazing. I love the mattes. They're great. I used for this pink look today and I have... I don't know, I'm struggling to find like a colorful eyeshadow lately because it's been sold out everywhere. The Morphe 35B in South Africa sold out. The Switch Beauty Unicorn Source sold out. The NYX, that like, really colorful one, I don't know what it's called. I can't find it anywhere, so that's my problem. I cannot find colors, so when I saw this, it was just like, oh my god. So I'm obsessed with this pink on my lid. Um, I'm also not a really colorful person, so I'm just like really excited to see what I do do with this. Um, I will definitely be using the yellows, the blues, the oranges, the pinks for sure. And this green color, I'm really looking forward to it. And this one. And that one. And that one. And that one. But anyway. <laughs> so, the shimmer side. What I will say is I'm really unimpressed with the shimmers because they are not shimmers. They're basically mattes. They just have this like glitter film on the top that's sort of, that short of, that will sort of be like, oh, I'm a shimmer. But then when you go into it, you're just like... That's not shimmer. That is not. It's just like a matte. Um, I don't know. I guess kind of swatching them. I hate doing swatches because I feel like they do not do a product justice. The shimmers are not very like vibrant. Some of them are a little bit more vibrant than the matte, but then some of the mattes are more vibrant than the shimmers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want me to do more reviews. Please recommend some products. I will purchase them and do a review for you guys. Um, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will link the Wake and Bake Cosmetics Instagram down below. You guys can DM them if you guys want to purchase some of these products. Well, this product. <laughs> um, but I hope to see you guys next time. I love you all so much. Stay positive, stay groovy. Bye, guys.